Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is going to be a little bit different of a topic, and that's because this is something that matters probably the most to most of you guys, and you don't even realize it. Today, we're going to talk about shoes. Coming up next, right here. Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different topic and that is because this is something that not a lot of people talk about and I've seen a lot of people making the wrong decision for fashion reasons instead of function and as biomeds we really have to think about function. Reason being is because there's not too many biomeds out there in this world who do not spend a lot of time on their feet. We work in some pretty hazardous environments and because of that, footwear is going to matter a lot more than, let's say, a nurse or something like that because, you know, we work in a variety of different areas. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of this footwear and uh, we will go over like probably just a rough estimate of what some of y'all are wearing in the field. So first off, let's start out with these guys right here, these big clod hoppers. I'm giving guys, I, I wear a size 13. So no matter what, it's always going to appear to be larger and heavier because it is. But guys, it doesn't even matter because it's possible with modern footwear to have a very large size shoe and yet still be comfortable and not fatigued at the end of the day. Go figure. <laughs> but there are some tasks where you want to wear a large boot like this. If you work in a warehouse pretty often, if you install let's say ceiling lights or something like that, you might want to wear boots because boots are much better when you're lifting things, when you are on an elevated platform, they're more stable because you have these laces that secure and they support your ankle. It makes it much less likely that you're going to twist your ankle, but at the same time at the expense of weight. The other thing that boots have going for them is that they have a rather good tread. You can see I was out walking in the grass and that's my minor a little bit dirty, but they have a fantastic tread, which means it's very non-slip compared to many shoes that you'll find out in the marketplace. Boots have excellent slip resistance. So you have the laces, which may make them a little more cumbersome compared to some of our other options here. But like I said, they support the ankle. That's the most important thing. The other thing is often boots will have a reinforced toe. A reinforced toe, if you're working in a warehouse, if you're installing goods, it's pretty necessary. Now this one here doesn't have a reinforced toe, but that's okay. Some of them do. Now what you might want to think about is your reinforced toe. Is it a steel toe or is it fiberglass? There are a lot of modern day boots that use fiberglass. And uh, some other channels like Project Farm, they've proven that the fiberglass ones are just as reliable as the steel toed when it comes to load bearing. Plus, they don't conduct electricity, but I don't really subscribe to that bullshit because a lot of people think, well, you're working a lot around electricity, you need to have a fiberglass steel toe, fiberglass toe. Um, and it's just like, no, that's not, that's not true at all. In fact, if you're working around that level of electricity, you have a whole suit that you have to put on. So it, it really doesn't matter for us very much, but boots, depend on what type of modality you work on, depending on the environment that you're working in, depending on whether or not you're on ladders and working on elevated platforms, some of us do. If that was the case, this would be the footwear I'd recommend for you. However, if you wanna take a semi-classy approach, you might wanna to move to something like this. This is a Doc Martin. And Doc Martens, they are rather nice looking, especially when you wear them with scrubs and stuff. They look really nice and they have some of the best slip resistance out there. In fact, it actually tells you oil and slip resistant with these. Uh, these are Dr. Scholl's, by the way. I was going to say Doc, Doc Martens, but they're Dr. Scholl's. It doesn't even matter because ah, these ones here, hmm, Dr. Scholl's, they're separating. <laughs> oh no, that's why I quit wearing them. I, I get that I can fix that, but nonetheless, they're also a little bit heavier. So here's where you wanna take into account the construction of your footwear and how much it's going to weigh on you, physically, metaphorically, whatever you wanna say, throughout your day, a heavy shoe, you're gonna feel it. Now there's a couple things that I was able to do 
with even these heavy shoes. I mean, these actually, when you're wearing them around, eh, they feel pretty good. Uh, but I went and I got these rigid soles. These are powerstep.com and it's, it's a rigid insole. And uh, I, I do a lot of walking guys. So if my insoles look like they've had a, a rough life, it's because they have, but rigid insole. And it, for me, particularly, I have a high rise on the midsole of my foot. And that is because my foot has got a high arc. And the thing is, is I would have some back pain and I would have other types of pain uh, because I walk a lot and I walk kind of fast. Um, and also standing for long periods of time. I can walk all day long and I'm fine. But if I have to stop and stand and then move a couple feet and then stop and stand. My knees and stuff just start hurting so bad. <sighs> I'm getting older, guys. These insoles are game changers, all right? Now, the reason that this high rigid arc is a game changer, you can see right there where it kind of stops the rigid part and it starts, you know, the soft part. It's because normally you're spreading the weight of your body on the toes and on the heel. The arc in the middle on most shoes is not really supported. Even the ones that clearly say that they have arch support. No, <laughs> it's garbage. It's always garbage. It feels good for like the first couple days that you're wearing it. And then that, that midsole arc, it's just foam and it just pads down. And uh, especially if you walk even a reasonable amount, it, it wears it right out. But these insoles right here are game changers. So it spreads the weight of your body across the entire platform of your foot. Not just on the heel, not just on the toe. You also have some load bearing on the middle of your foot, which forces your foot into the correct angle of approach. So when you're walking, when you're standing, whatever, your foot is always at the correct angle instead of like fatiguing those muscles and, and your metatarsals down there. But anyway, this right here changed the game when it came to these shoes. Now, one of the things I want you to notice is the material that your shoe is made of. It is going to matter if it makes the shoe rather heavy. The sole on this one is stitched. Makes the sole rather heavy. It's got a multi-layered approach. It probably has a rigid insole. <sighs> this is a heavy shoe, especially for a size 13, ladies. Uh, but anyway, uh, these ones here are better. Skechers, also slip resistant. These are nice shoes. I actually tend to migrate towards these ones quite frequently, and that is because they're also a pleather or a simulated leather, and that I will take any day in the field over that. Reason being is because this one's fabric, and this one here, you can tell it's a little bit dirty. We can clean it. And guys, cleaning your shoes especially when you're out in the field. We get weird things on our shoes, okay? You can just wipe them off. I get like an oily rag and I wipe it down real quick and you're good. And I, yes, I did say an oily rag. I do spray a little bit of oil. Not only does it shine your shoe up a little bit, but there's certain types of oils that you use on leather and they soften the leather and they seal it. You want sealed leather because there's some gooey stuff that we get involved with. Now this one here, this is a nice looking shoe and because of the material, it's nice and lightweight. It's beautiful for walking in, but here's the problem. One single spill of unknown substance and I probably will not want to wear the shoe ever again. And I can say that from my 20 years of being a biomed is that I have had blood leak down the front of me. I have had what appears to be urine drip down the front of me onto my shoes. And you know, with these ones here, I can just take the sandy wipes, wipe them down, bam, I'm, I'm back in service, man. I'm good to go. These ones here, I'm down. I am absolutely down. There's, if you get something spilled on the front of this, it's going to permeate the outer material and it could make your feet stink permanently. Plus you don't know what was in that biological fluid. You don't know. It happens guys. And, and the people that deny that, I, I say you just haven't been around the block enough times. Guys, things will get on you and it's stuff that you don't like. And with these shoes here, not only are they sealed toe, you need sealed toed footwear. You need something lightweight. You need something that's non-permeable because you wanna be able to wipe it off when that goo gets down the front of you. These ones here, 
not a good solution, guys. So we got this one, we got this one, we got this one. Depending on the type of person you are, maybe you like lacing your shoes up back and forth. But guys, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. I kind of like slipping my foot in there without having to lace it up. I do. I do. And they're comfortable. They're rather lightweight and they're comfortable. You start adding laces and stuff and you're adding weight for what? For what? There's no more retention on this. Well, yeah, I can't say that. This one definitely got some more retention. But I mean, for a normal lace up shoe, you're really not um, gaining too much. You know, not for us. I like the fact that I can take my shoes off nice and quickly, throw on my scrubs, slide my shoes back on, and I'm in business. I like that. And just the reverse, if I get something down the front of me, which it does happen, guys, I like the fact that I can just slide my shoes off and take my scrub pants off quickly. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I wear pants underneath my scrub pants. So it's not like I'm just stripping down to my birthday suit in front of everybody. It's not that way. I had throughout my whole 20 years of being a biomed, I have always put my scrubs on over my pants and I have had fluids get on my scrubs, even in the operating room. And I will yank my scrub pants off as soon as that happens before it comes all the way into the inner fabric. And to do that, I slide my shoes off nice and quick, yank those pants off. Yes, I have pants underneath. It's okay. Yeah, I understand. I broke sanitation protocol, whatever. I don't care. I don't want those fluids, whatever it is, touching my skin. So I'll strip off. I, I usually wear these 511 pants and the 511 pants are uh, moisture resistant. So it kind of beads up on the surface. So you can take a rag or something, brush it off. If you got some goo juice down the front of you, whatever it is, at least it didn't get into your skin. It all matters around being able to slide your shoes on and off nice and quickly. So guys, shoes do matter. If you have large feet like me, they really matter because the size of your shoe, the weight, it goes up increasingly and very quickly. Um, so I, I generally choose Skechers myself. I know everybody's got their preference. You guys go ahead. Shoes are a consumable. Remember that guys. It is not something that is necessarily meant to be pretty. You're going to scuff your toes. You're going to be working on your knees. Hey, watch what you're saying. Uh, it just stuff happens. And because of that, you want shoes that you can slide on and off nice and quickly that are sealed, that are lightweight, and that offer support. And if your shoe doesn't offer support, you can get the insoles, all right? Get rigid insoles. It's a game changer, so nice. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to run you down really quickly on shoes because I see so many people that are wearing uh, permeable shoes because they're lightweight, because they look cool. Yeah, until you get something down the front of you and some people are nasty enough, they don't care. I care, <laughs> okay? I care. I don't want any of that weird goo juice getting in and touching my skin. That's just the way I am. Maybe you're different. Maybe you like it. I don't know. Some people are freaks. Guys, that's shoes in a nutshell for biomeds. Thanks for watching.